everybody, Ole aka Chuck1 here, and in this, it's not really an episode about Euro Truck Simulator 2 here on my Let's Play channel, but I've been asked if I could put together a little video on how to get and install mods for Euro Truck Simulator 2. If you've watched any of my previous episodes, you've heard me talk about a variety of mods that I'm using, and about the mod community in general. Now, I am by no means an expert on mods for Euro Truck Simulator 2, nor do I pretend to know how they're made, or even who the big players, who the big contributors are, or any of that. If you're looking for that, you're going to have to do some Googling. But this is purely going to be a video about how to install them. Now, trying to fool you here by having this image, it's really just uh, my Google Chrome browser. First of all, there's lots of websites where you can get um, mods for your Truck Simulator 2. I'll put a couple that I can think of into the video's description. But as an example, I'm just going to go use this Lights mod here, which is one of the ones that I use. Um, and sort of show you how to do this. This website I, I find fairly reliable. Uh, you'll find, you'll see something interesting here in a minute. First of all, you can see that there's all kinds of groupings and stuff like that, but when you start downloading these, most of these downloads will take you to third-party websites, you know. Uh, so there's sites like, like this here that's coming up where you're going to have to make sure you click on the right link and you're probably going to have to wait a while and all that stuff. So. This one's actually not bad. You just click download and it goes. A lot of other ones want you to sign up or... So you have to be a little bit cautious. Now, I downloaded this straight to my desktop. So here's the... Um, it's a .rar file. I use 7-zip to um, extract it. So what you want to do, basically, is you want to extract this file until you get to the actual file here that has the .scs extension. Most of the mods will, of course, have a readme file. So you can have a little look at that. It's usually um, credits, that kind of thing. Sometimes they'll tell you how to install them. But again, it's, it's actually really quite simple. This mod actually can, contains two different uh, mods. You have to pick one, whether you want halogen lights or xenon lights. Um, so let's just say we're going to take this. You want to copy this file, and you're going to head to your Documents folder in the Euro Truck 2 Simulator, Euro Truck Simulator 2 folder. Now... The very first thing I always do every time I put in a new mod, I create a copy of the profiles folder and I literally just copy and paste it just so I have a backup, just in case. I don't think these mods can actually break your profile, but you know what? It's a small folder and better safe than sorry. Of course, now I have to go back and um, get this file again. Where did we leave it? Sorry about that. So, Euro Truck Simulator 2 mod folder. And look at that. I have several mods already installed. This is where you would paste it. I'm not going to do that because I already have it. It's right here. Uh, you can see some of the other mods that I've used. Traffic Sound, Essential Trainers, Real Logos, including some rather large ones. This one's almost a, it's exactly a gig and a half, in fact. This is the uh, map mod that uh, I've been using, the TSM mod. Now, the next step to placing the files in here actually takes place in the game. Okay, so now that we've actually launched the game, you're here at the profile screen where you can choose your character from. Usually, you would probably just click continue and it would auto-load or you'd pick a safe game to load. In order to enable mods, you actually have to click, make sure you got the right profile selected, and click edit. And uh, it takes you to this screen here where you can change your company name and some of the other things. But on the right here, you will see what mods are actually active at the moment. These uh, top three here are actually ones that I just recently uh, downloaded and put into the folder, but as you can see, I have not enabled them yet. So it's actually quite easy. All you got to do is tick the boxes next to the ones that you want to enable. So these are the mods that I've added. Now, if you're installing for the first time and there's 10 mods that you want to get, I would recommend that you probably don't enable them all at once because some of them can cause problems. Usually, in my experience, that's only been issues with uh, not being able to load your game, because it's kind of freaky when that happens, but you just go back in here and disable them. So, you check the ones that you want, you click Apply, and then you continue as normal loading your game. This is where the TSM mod for me sometimes freezes on this screen here, on the loading screen, so... Which is probably what's going to happen right now. Oh, no, maybe not. We're lucky. And then, again, you go on as, uh, as you usually would. I don't know, I never noticed this before, but it's there now. The game contains unauthorized modifications, no support is available. Again, of course, if you're going to include mods and something is a problem, the first thing for you to do is to disable that mod and make sure things are back to normal. 
Hopefully this little video was helpful for you. If it was, leave a like button. And uh, if you haven't been to my channel before, I would encourage you to hit the subscribe button. And I appreciate everybody watching. Thanks again, and we'll see you soon.